Hey guys, we had a question from a good customer of ours that uh, bought the Bible cover pattern pack, and that's what this pattern is here. This is one of the tooling uh, patterns that's in there. I don't remember how many is in that particular pack, but there's a bunch of different ones. But this is one here that would be a geometric combination. So you've got a nice big corner flower set here, and then this one here in the top, uh, and then you can put basket stamp or any kind of geometric stamp in there. But he was asking about this flower in particular, and he didn't really know how to approach it and proper way to tool it. He ended up tooling it the way he thought was supposed to be, and he kind of thought he had an idea, but he said he wasn't real happy with it, wanted to see what I would do. And the, the saddle that I just finished, actually, if you're following us on Instagram, you've seen that saddle. We uh, It actually has a flower that's kind of similar to this, but mainly just in the pedal arrangement, kind of how the pedals are, where these two, this front pedal here and these parts of these back two pedals are actually facing away from you. And so those you'll tool differently than you tool these two pedals or three pedals here facing towards you. And so we're going to show you how to tool that real quick. He also had a question about this leaf. These little leaves, there's all kinds of different ways to tool them. I'll just show you kind of what I usually do to them and, and um, kind of go from there. But we've got a little piece of scrap leather here. This is just a piece of scrap Herman Oak, 910 ounce. It's an old piece of belly, um, still firm. That's what I like about Herman Oak leather. Even the belly is nice and firm. You, I wouldn't be scared at all to make a knife sheath out of this leather right here or anything like that. And so, um, but what we're gonna do is just use that for tooling practice today. So what I'm gonna do, one little trick too, if you're trying to transfer some of these patterns over to here, um, you can certainly print them out on mylar or, or the tracing film and then trace over them that way. Um, you can also use tracing paper. And the only bad deal with tracing paper is if your leather is cased and you put this on there, it's going to wrinkle and tear really easily because this stuff does not like getting wet hardly at all. So um, that's this regular old tracing paper is not a good deal for this if it's wet. But if it's dry, you can draw it on there with pencil and even if you use like a number six or a number eight uh, pencil, I drew this on with just a regular number two, and that's usually enough to be able to see. You might not be able to see it on camera very well, but then turn it over, okay? So you're gonna need the reverse if it's a certain direction you want that flower to face. But put the graphite side down onto your leather, and then you can take a pencil or a stylus, either way, and just trace that. And that will actually transfer some of that lead onto the leather. And it will leave a slight impression depending on the temper of the leather that you're using. If you're using a real soft tempered leather like Wicket and Craig, I would imagine that it's going to leave a lot more of an impression than the Herman Oak. And then some of your import leathers, uh, it's kind of left unknown there. You just, each one of those is kind of different. But as you can see there, it transferred the lead straight off. And so I'll do that a lot of times when I'm drawing because like, a, like you've seen me do before, I draw the, on the leather directly with a pencil. And so that allows you to be able to do that. I'm also gonna go ahead and transfer this flower a couple times, or this leaf a couple times, because I wanna show you a couple different ways that you can tool this. I'm not gonna tool the whole pattern that's in that pack just because sake of time. I don't wanna make this video super long. I just wanna show you how to tool that flower. Oop, that didn't transfer very good. But I can still barely see it. You can, you know, in a pinch, it'll still leave a little bit of an impression. You can vaguely see it right there. But this one, you can see much better. And so we'll just take our pencil and just draw it in so that when we wet this leather down, we're not gonna lose the image here. And there's our little leaf. Okay. Yeah. So there I've just added a little bit of water. And we'll strop our swivel knife a little bit here. And now we'll get that carved in. All right, so we got those carved. And so the first thing we're gonna do, like I do in all my tooling, the first thing I'm gonna do is undercut everything or lift it with a lifter. I've had a lot of emails that Barry King does not sell undercuts. He does too, he sells lifters. Basically the same thing. I'm probably calling him something wrong, so don't worry too much. 
just tell him, hey, Don calls them undercuts. He doesn't know what he's talking about, but you know which ones I need, and he'll know what you're talking about. Lifters, it's the same thing, but I care. I use the same ones. I always use small. This is one of my small ones. It's not the smallest, but it's, uh, you know, we want to use the right lifter for the right area here. We're going to lift in, these, in the middle of these scallops here. Now, you're only going to do one, two, three, these three flower, these three petals here. And the reason is because these three are facing you. So they're coming this way. They're facing there. So this is the inside of the petal. This one here is facing away from you. And so it's the back side of the pedal. So we will lift that differently. In fact, we will not lift it, but we will tool it differently. So we'll go ahead and you've got to kind of envision this flower in your mind um, as done. And that way it'll help you decide on what to bevel, what to lift and that kind of thing. But we're gonna go through here and just pop these little undercuts in here right quick or lifts if you prefer. And then I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna grab my next one and I'm gonna do this one here, just that little bit right there because, come here pencil, because this is the outer edge of this pedal here. We're gonna do that there because you gotta envision this is the outer edge of this pedal that is flipped back up as this pedal draws those two edges up. So if that whole flower is going like that, okay? So this is the outside of this, of this pedal. So we're only gonna lift here. We're gonna leave this alone. All right, so I'm gonna grab my crowners and this is gonna be my crowner. This is going to be my small one. It fits these the best. And so we're going to just crown the top of these. You don't have to have crowners. You can do that with a small beveler if you don't have crowners. Crowners just make it a little faster. And we'll get that little end piece right there. And so that'll be that and then oh uh, yeah take our crown now on this pedal here this first one we will go ahead and crown these so we'll we'll do that and now we'll go ahead and take our beveler <clears throat> we're just going to bevel that flower Here we're going to bevel this pedal so that it and you can do it a number of ways you can bring this all the way around here or you can come in here and have this one look like it's overlapping it just a little bit my leather straighten my leather out so I don't get so much bounce and so you can do that right there to where this looks like it's on top of that one a little bit and then this one will be underneath it's just personal preference right there on those lines. You can do whichever you prefer. But now you can see how these are in the background and these are in the foreground, all these pieces here. So you got three in the foreground, three in the background. You can do a number of different things to this flower and to decorate it. You don't have a flower center, it's in there. It's just you can't see it because of the petal in the way. And so if you want a leaf line, you can certainly do that if you don't don't it's not that big of a deal but you can come in here and just kind of leaf line out of there imagining and kind of that it that it's got a flower center and it's got a little little more texture inside the petals to differentiate it from the back side of the petal that's absolutely fine you can do that with a a pear shader a lined pear shader you can do it with whatever whatever tool you'd like or you could not do it at all it's whatever you prefer but that just gives it a little bit more contrast. It's gonna catch a little bit more antique. Just make it look a little different. So you can do whatever you want. This is gonna be a small Berry King thumbprint. So it's got horizontal lines on it and it fits these little petals. The top three petals, we're going to pear shade the way I do all my flowers. Just right there in those undercuts or in those uh, scallops. Again, I drag mine. If you don't like to drag yours back, you certainly don't have to. That's just how I do it. Okay. So that's pear shaded. Now you can kind of see 
the effect we're going for. It's almost like a little cup. You know, it's kind of, this is in front, these are behind, these are facing you, these are facing away. So that's what we're going for. So now if you will envision with this pedal in particular, the pear shades are here in these scallop sections. So if you were looking from the opposite direction, if you were looking from this away, from behind it, you would see this pushed away from you and this coming to you because right now it's opposite. So when we tool this one, we've got to push this down, this down, and this down, and this down in between the scallops instead of in the scallops. So it's kind of opposite, but it's going to give you the effect of this from the rear view instead of from the front view. And so you don't wanna, if you go ahead and do it just like you did these, it's gonna look like just like these. So you wanna do it opposite. So we'll get down in where you would, where you would have lifted it and we'll go right off the edge of it. And I like to curve to the middle as we go along, shorten this one up, don't let it come down quite as far, and then curve the opposite way with this one. And then curve the opposite way and bring it down a little further. And then you can blend these tails. We're gonna come in here and do some decorative cutting, so, but you wanna get them as nice as you, as you can. But that'll give you that appearance there. Now that matches the, the rear view of this, if you, if you look at it. And so then here, this is flipping over. I like to kind of take this and lightly, not quite as hard, but lightly, just kind of pear shade right there. Same thing on this one. And that, and this gives you the illusion that this is flipping over and trying to flip back towards you. Where this kind of, it flips over this way, but this tip is trying to kind of come back over here. And so we'll kind of go from that. Now that the flower is tooled, we can go through and relift, if you don't mind relifting. We'll relift where we lifted originally, just to kind of clean it up and give it a little bit more texture. And then we'll do the same in here. Maybe we can kind of bevel around that just a little bit. So now that flower is tooled. So now I'm gonna add some decorative cuts. The first in here, in these top three, I do them pretty similar, like I always do. Kind of do them in the flow direction of the pedal. Now when we get to this pedal right here, I'm gonna come off the edge right here at the at the bottom and I'm going to envision that it's going this way just a little bit so I'm gonna real lightly I'm gonna cut real deep and then I'm just gonna come forward and the same thing there and then shorten that one and then I'm gonna bring one here and one here and that's just kinda it's kinda mimicking in my mind kinda mimics the underside of what some of these, because these are really supposed to be like little veins in the pedals, uh, the decorative cuts, just to add a little texture and a little motion. So I like to do that right there. Um, as of now, it'll probably change more and more I tool that flower, but that's how I would tool that particular flower right there. As far as these leaves, they're real simple. What we're gonna do is undercut right there, then we'll come through here, bevel, Now we'll take our leaf liner like any other leaf. Take our Berry King leaf liner or any leaf liner that you have is fine. Don't get too hung up on the name and the number and the brand. Just find a quality tool, quality tool that you'd like to use and that can even be a good craft tool. Just something that kind of fits your style, you know? And use that. It's not the tool, it's the tooler. So just try to try to find the tool that you enjoy using mainly. My favorite little beveler is this one right here, and it's a craft tool on a very old craft tool, I think, some kind of craft Japan or something. It's an awesome beveler. I use the heck out of it. 
Okay, so I've got my my leaf. Here's something I like to do on these. I take this tool here, a little dot sunburst. You've seen me use it in some of my other tooling series. And I've even got a craft tool one that I used for years and years. But it puts that little dot and that little sunburst on there. Um, now one way you could do this is to come in here and use a wiggler and just lightly, every so often, around the edge, put a little wiggle in there. And then take your swivel knife and just do upward arcs, like say three of them, as small as that leaf is. And so, you got the little wiggler tool here on the edge. It's just a little little accent. You don't have to come all the way to the vein with it. Just, just a little bit of accent. And then just take your swivel knife and upward arc cut that right there. And that's usually enough decoration on them. You don't even have to parachute them. Now if you want to, you can. So let's bevel this one right quick. got this one back to where we had that one it's beveled so now you can take a pear shader um, just one that I have laying around it's actually pretty good I use it I use it quite often here since I found it um, but I'll take the heel of that and stick it you know you got a toe and then your heel and so I'll take the heel since it's kind of pointed and we'll put that in there and I'll drag that back as I'm as I'm tapping on the tool, and that's just to, I'm just floating it back real lightly. All I'm trying to do is create a little burnish and a little color in that leaf around the edge. And this tool does a fantastic job. It's smooth, it's not, it's not checkered or anything. You could definitely do one checkered, but I think this type of leaf looks really good if you do it smoothly like that. Then we'll take our leaf liner leaf line in again so we've got that right there and we'll go ahead and take our I, I don't know why I do this I have to do it I just I don't like leaving that stem solid right through there I like to have some type of break you can also do it with a mule's foot you can stick a mule's foot there or whatever but I have that little seed burst tool solely for that reason now what you can do is strictly just decorative cut it. We've pear shaded it to give it some texture. So now I can hook in here and just pull a little cut back like that. Do a couple forward arc cuts in here just to give it a little bit of texture. It's gonna catch antique, a little bit of motion. It'll look nice. But that is how I tool that flower. And again, that's from this pattern. It's the, this is one, one piece out of the Bible cover pattern pack, the companion pack that we did on building a simple Bible cover. This is one of the patterns in there. And so he just had a question. I thought, man, that is kind of a neat flower and it's kind of different. It's different than the flowers we've tooled in the uh, tooling series videos and stuff. And so I wanted to go ahead and show that real quick just to kind of give you a little little different effect and maybe give you some ideas for some different types of flowers in your work so i hope that helps if you have any questions let me know i appreciate y'all and we'll see you in the next video